We are here in the BBC general election set for 2015 and uh, the main difference this year is uh, the scale has gone up in terms of what the BBC wanted to achieve from the production. So as well as VR, we've also got AR uh, being employed in the studio. So that means we've got more cameras. In the VR we've got two uh, tracked pedestals and we've also got locked off cameras. We've got one Shotoku locked off camera up high, then we've got two separate cameras that are uh, just locked off. It was important that we um, prepared a lot along with the BBC to make sure that we had the right uh, equipment and the right people ready. Uh, it's a combination of uh, virtual reality and augmented reality and I think the, the BBC are expected to um, surpass themselves uh, from what they did last year, also what they did at the uh, Scottish referendum back in uh, September. I am standing next to a couple of the uh, AR pedestals that are going to track augmented reality using the Moses Star Tracker. I'm using a small number of randomly placed retroreflective stickers on the ceiling, we can track in pretty much any size of studio. The tracking system consists of a camera looking upwards and bright LED lights. Um, one attached to each camera we want to track into the Steadicam and these allow you to precisely in real time find the position of the camera in the studio. And we also have um, Movie Bird 30 foot crane over here which is uh, also Moses tracking. Jeremy Vine has taken up residence in his virtual world to explain it all. What we have here is a Moses tracked uh, techno vision crane and we needed to uh, make transition from the R AR studio to the VR studio so we can move the camera through all the studio space. It is encoded with mechanical encoders and the big, biggest difficulty is to get the right uh, calibration for that. The um, crane can see the VR or it can see the AR. So for that tracking system and for the uh, Steadicam tracking system we have to have two Viz render engines. One to do the AR and one to do the VR. And the coalition Conservatives plus Lib Dems 316 plus 10 under the exit poll gets to exactly 326 seats in the House of Commons. Now of course it only takes a tiny variation in our forecast. The goodness so we've got 23 Vizar T engines being used here. Uh, so that's for cameras, for the pedestals, for the crane, for the steady cam. And there's also a couple of render engines that are being used for special uh, shots like uh, Downing Street and for a drone shot uh, over the House of Commons. And then there's a social uh, media renderer which is going to be used to do the tweets and the Facebook uh, social media stuff. Come inside the Elizabeth Tower. We've also got two render engines that are feeding projectors. So there's a projector on the floor uh, so Jeremy Vine can walk around the green screen and see the, the set and see and see the map on the set and then we've got a uh, projector that feeds the wall so that when the graphics come up behind him Welcome to Downing Street. He can actually look to the wall in the green screen and see the, uh, the, the various constituencies or the various figures that he's talking about. 100 shift from Labour to the Conservatives since 2010. So we also have two VizIO servers. So we've got the AR server and we've got the v, um, VR server. So we've split the servers so that the tracking data comes into two separate servers. One of the most important things in augmented reality or virtual reality is to mimic the same lens deformation we have on the real lens into our virtual camera. This way we keep the graphics always in place as we move the camera even to the edges. It takes about three, four hours per lens and therefore because there was a considerable amount of lenses that we had to, to calibrate for this project. It took us a full week to do it. Extraordinary result, actually. Newcastle upon Tyne East has just come in. 
you might remember that the Lib Dems... Behind me you can see the touchscreen, which is a much bigger touchscreen this time, and using an LED screen with radar touch technology that has a laser in front for the... Uh, to, when you break the laser, it gives you the touch. And uh, the AR cameras behind me will also track the depth tracking within the, within the screen. So you'll see uh, as the cameras move and as they show the touchscreen, there'll be some depth within the touchscreen. I think I should bring you up immediately with our forecast. Last two here. Go on. Up they come. Ten, remember? The emphasis is that the BBC are expected to put on uh, a great show because this is the general election and this is the one that can change the face of the country. But here it is, ten o'clock, and we are saying the Conservatives are the largest party.